Hey there, Virgo. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of June 5th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what we get for you this week. Uh, dealing with a lot of people, which is nice, probably needing to communicate a lot. You have the uh, Queen of Spades coming up first. Uh, represents, I think that actually... I'm not going to say what I was going to say, but because uh, I think the uh, message I'm getting off of this is that you are going to probably need to look at a, a situation in a, in a different way with a certain person. So, um, like I said, not the usual message that I usually get off of this card, but I think that uh, somebody will come to you with either an opportunity or you'll have misjudged somebody. So definitely pay attention to the people around you. Uh, I think maybe somebody coming to you with an idea or again, it could be in business, uh, but I guess it could also be in love as well. Um, and again, I think you are, uh, you, I actually don't think you've done this yet. I think you will, you could potentially misjudge this person. So again, make sure to look into all opportunities in love and in business. Uh, and, and again, if you get that feeling like you're, you um, something doesn't feel right, I would say just maybe dig a little bit deeper this week because I, I, I think that actually, again, I think that you're misjudging it and I think you should uh, catch it because it could be a very valuable opportunity. Like I said, it's coming up as love and business for, so both, you know, both potentially uh, depending on what, you know, what your situation is. So uh, again, uh, and it could be male love too. Again, just because this is a queen doesn't mean it's a just female. So uh, definitely look into all situations, I would say. I mean, that came in very strongly as well. Uh, two of clubs, needing to talk to people. Again, I think that you'll be having a lot of conversations. You have uh, four court cards here, so a lot of communications, talk, talking to people, dealing with people, and meetings, and needing to figure things out. All this stuff comes up uh, with this card. Um, and uh, you even have the ace of clubs, which in some card reading systems is just the card of like communication, the card of literally meeting with people. But I think that this card is a great card for, again, uh, kind of like digging into things and, and really trying to figure things out. So I think it'd be, you know, put your detective hat on this week and really make sure to kind of like dig into situations uh, and, and uh, kind of look at uh, all situations. Again, look at everything that kind of comes your way this week. Uh, but this is a great card for communication. It's also a great card for commu uh, uh, social media. If you are in social media and you are, you know, you talk to a wide audience or anything like that. Uh, also great for creativity and also great for writing this week, which it seems to be a couple other signs have had that message. So it seems to be a good writing week. Next, you have my favorite card in the deck, Ace of Clubs. Card of, again, uh, communication, needing to talk to people, but it's also a great card of uh, abundance and prosperity coming your way. And it can also represent your desire for knowledge. You know, it's a card that represents like learning and learning a lot and learning that becomes profitable. Uh, you've probably heard me say it a thousand times already um, that Pisces and Virgo definitely need to be learning this year and learning as much as they can about things that they want, whether it's business, love, whatever the case may be. Uh, because, you know, I think most of the benefits this year and, and part of next year as well will will come about because of education, because of teaching yourself things. That's what's going to be very important. But again, I also think, like I said, I think that it's a kind of getting a main message for you only like one message this week that you need to again dig into things a little bit deeper because I feel like things aren't what they seem or something like I feel you know really all I'm feeling for you is like that uh, you're some situation is going to come up but again it feels like with a person for others of you maybe it's not a person maybe it's just a situation and again I feel like your first instinct is going to be off and if you let this situation or, uh, you know, opportunity pass, it's, I, I feel like it's, you're going to be missing out on something. So again, make sure to dig into all things. Don't just judge things uh, too quickly this week. Next, you show up. So definitely still in a position of power and position of strength uh, this week. Queen of Diamonds, Virgo, uh, getting what you want a little bit more easily this week. And this is also a great card for harvest, harvesting money and uh, ha harvesting things coming in for you. I would also say if you need money, um, this is an amazing card because it's a card of like, finding something to sell like you know something in your house or even creating some sort of service or or something like that that you can sell you know offering some sort of service or doing something on the side uh, that could bring you in extra cash so it could be a great week for that next you have the jack of spades again very similar uh, you know i just feel like this is talking about that queen of spades that message um but all, this is also a card of needing to dig into your resources as well i feel like maybe that's why some of you are hesitant on this opportunity maybe it, it will require you to um you, you know really dig into some resources or need to come up with some resources or something um, but i do feel like it could be beneficial for you to try to find that i always call this card 
card MacGyver because it's a, a card of needing to, again, needing to like put random things together to create something else. So again, you might need to be really um, kind of diligent this week in how you deal with resources, how you're dealing with your own resources, and even how you're uh, kind of like spending your resources this week or using your resources. This isn't just money, by the way. When I say resources, that could be like physical energy, your actual energy, the time you spend on things, and even time. You might have to really be juggling time and things like that. I really feel like, like I said, I feel like there's something major for a lot of you going on, but it, it, like I said, it's like one of those things where, you know, kind of like all the puzzle pieces are coming together, but you're going to have to be really diligent about it. So definitely do that. And finally, you have the uh, Jack of Clubs. Great card for thinking about the future and planning for the future, and it can also represent uh, things clearing up. So ultimately, I feel like this main situation uh, is going to clear up for a lot of you. Uh, this is also a card that's really important to practice self-care with this card, taking care of yourself, you know, whether it be working out, your diet, uh, or also just even mentally, you know, um, this can be a card where sometimes you're a little bit too harsh on yourself. You're a little bit too, um, aggressive with how you kind of punish yourself really for maybe challenges or challenges that you're dealing with. But this card says be a little bit more gentle on yourself and don't be so hard on yourself at this time. But wow, um, really crazy week. Like I said, normally I get more than that, but, uh, obviously there's only one thing you know, or kind of one main message there coming in for you. Looks like a great week, though. Could be very interesting. Like I said, like, I think you need to be a, a detective this week, like I said, and kind of dig into things before you judge them, because uh, you never know what you might find. But uh, thank you for watching, and uh, enjoy.